Have you ever been in a situation where you desired to change something about yourself, but found it to be all too difficult a journey? Of course, most of us have been in that situation, but does it mean that we are destined, as it were, to always remain the same and exist as the person we are today for the rest of our lives? When you look at your ideal self, the person you aspirationally want to be, and compare that to the person you are today, you are likely to discover gaps you want to close in your personality, character, intelligence, or professional skills. But is this kind of change possible? Potential is a quality that we all possess, be it necessary that we sometimes have to dig deep in order to realize it. Even the greatest of leaders have viewed themselves as imperfect as a work in progress, as a stone that is still being sculpted. They have actively looked for opportunities to learn from others and from their life experiences. They have acknowledged and apologized for their mistakes. If you wish to live up to your highest potential, to serve your purpose in the most effective manner, it is equally essential for you to embrace the pursuit of growth all through your life. Modern science provides compelling evidence that you are, in fact, work in progress, that you can close the gaps between your ideal self and current self. This evidence is based on and related to the following three dynamics, epigenetics, neuroplasticity, and growth mindset. Epigenetics is a new scientific discovery which shows that it is not the presence or absence of certain genes that make you who you are but the active expression of those genes. And this expression of genes is something you can change. You can impact the expression of your genes through your own behavior and thoughts. With disciplined practice of a new thought or behavior, you can mitigate the expression of certain genes and activate the expression of other genes, generating strong, visible, and measurable benefits in even a short period of time. This toolkit outlines this scientific evidence and provides practical tools to help you go on a purposeful journey toward personal change. By activating your inner sculptor and chipping away at your excess stone, you will, over time, come closer and closer to your ideal self in life and leadership. When we consider neuroplasticity, each of your habits, instincts, strengths, and weaknesses is associated with a certain programming of your brain in the form of neurons that are wired together along a certain path. Neuroplasticity says that you can actually reprogram your brain. When you choose to practice a new and improved thought or behavior, it makes certain neurons in your brain fire together along a new path. Since these neurons have not fired together in the past, this takes conscious effort. The new pattern of thought or behavior does not appear natural to you. You are out of your comfort zone. When you repeatedly and consciously practice this new and improved thought or behavior, this path of neurons that have been firing together starts wiring together. The more you practice, the more deeply you form this groove in your brain, and the more the desired pattern of thought or behavior comes naturally to you. Your brain is now reprogrammed. Your comfort zone has expanded. You are now closer to your highest potential. Let's take a moment to focus on this third dynamic, the growth mindset. The growth mindset is how your mindset affects your performance. Compare a fixed mindset where your intellect is static. With a fixed mindset, you tend to avoid challenges, give up easily, see effort as fruitless or worse, ignore useful negative feedback, or even feel threatened by the success of others in order to feel an innate desire to seem smart or in control. The fixed mindset may lead an individual to plateau early in life and achieve less than their full potential. The growth mindset, however, leads to a desire to learn and therefore has the tendencies to embrace challenges, persist even in the face of setbacks, see effort as the path to mastery, learn from criticism, and find lessons and inspiration in the success of others. The growth mindset results in an individual reaching even higher levels of achievement, which gives them a greater sense of free will. Even with the consideration of these three factors, the truth of the matter is this. Making change is hard. That's why 90% of New Year's resolutions actually fail. But by practicing the five building blocks of personal change, you can make sure you are part of the other 10%. What are the five building blocks of personal change? We'll discuss some briefly. 
They are 1. Belief Belief that you can change. This is the first step towards shifting from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. Try to identify times in the past when you have changed in significant ways. Find stories of people who have succeeded at changing themselves in the way you aim to. And ask yourself, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would a 10 look like and where are you today? Assuming you are not at a 1, find your bright spots, the situations where you already do the right things. The second is motivation, understanding why you should change. Use the following interventions whenever you need to rekindle your passion for pursuing change. Envision the default future. What would happen if you do not change? Then envision the desired future. What would happen if you do change? Anticipate the challenges ahead. What will you tell yourself if you experience a setback? How can you avoid or recover from a relapse? The third building block is technique. What do you do differently? Even a well-intentioned effort to change will fail unless you acquire the right tools and skills. Find the right sources to guide and coach you through your journey. Get the right tools that are known to be effective for your pursuits. If there are multiple paths, pick the one most suited to your nature. The fourth building block is deliberate practice. Ask yourself, how do I get there? Neurons that fire together, wire together. Break up your overall goal into specific sub-goals and small steps. Set process goals. When vanquishing a bad habit, understand the cues that trigger the wrong behavior and identify other behaviors that give you the same reward. Be open to adjusting your approach. Allow a part of you to die, so to speak. Walk away from the old behaviors you may be attached to in order to form winning new behaviors. Make a non-negotiable commitment to yourself. The final building block is environment. Discover who you learn and get inspiration from, and also identify who may be limiting you. This final aspect is so important, as your social and physical environment has a strong and often subconscious impact on your behavior, character, and personality. Identify role models and craft opportunities to observe and learn from them. Form an inner circle of friends you can gain insight and inspiration from. Reduce or reshape your engagement with people who may be reinforcing your old patterns of behavior. Make changes in your physical environment that will help you in remembering and practicing your new behaviors. These five building blocks are also essential for leading effective change. Consider the beliefs. You can help your people craft the right narrative by sharing success stories and by getting them to behave in a desired manner, even if just for a bit of time. Motivate your people by making them see and feel the need for change so they form an emotional connection with the goal and this fuels the desire for them to change. Exercise proper techniques by training your people on the capabilities needed to execute the new behaviors. Initiate deliberate practice. Break the change down into small steps, identifying specific and vivid signs of progress and create short-term wins. And finally, the environment. Show your people that others too are embracing the change. Nip no compliance in the bud early on so it does not spread. And have leaders model the change through actions, not simply words. All things considered, change is not easy. But know this, we are all capable of reshaping, reforming, and committing to a brighter and satisfying future.